I'm Jodel Fitzwater and it's time to get fit on the water with me and Vic SUP. So I've got a really fun workout for you today. It's all lower body. We're going to do 15 exercises with 30 seconds of each exercise followed by 10 seconds of rest. So get ready. We're about to get sweaty and get fit on the water. Your board will be your gym and your body will be your machine. Let's go. Let's begin with some basic overhead squats. Holding your paddle overhead, you're going to squat down, keeping the weight in your heels and dropping your bum towards the back of your board. Imagine there's a little tiny chair that's way too far behind you that you're trying to squat down into. We're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds, so do as many as you can, but go at your own pace and don't forget to breathe. Next up is gorilla squats. You're actually going to keep a soft bend in the knees and place your hands on the paddle board. Keep them there while you drop your hips and lift. So it's essentially bending and straightening your legs. Keeping that back flat, so keep those knees as bent as you need to in order to keep your back flat. And then dropping those hips as low as you can, straightening back up to where your back stays flat. Now let's try some sprinter lunges. You're gonna come down into a lunge position with your hands on the board and step your foot backwards and forwards. Feel the burn. Let's repeat now on the other side and make sure again that back is straight. You're trying to keep those hips as low as possible as you're stepping forward and back. Do as many as you can in this 30 seconds. And yeah, I'm starting to feel it too. Stationary lunges are next, so you're actually going to have your paddle down and your back knee down and start by lifting and lowering that back knee. Touching it down, lifting it up. Use that paddle as your third point of contact to keep the stability of the board. And remember, don't forget to breathe here either. Ready for that other side now? So let's get the other leg down and get that third point of contact with your paddle. Bring that knee up and down. Make sure that you're keeping your chest nice and tall, the sh shoulders pulled back. And again, if it's burning, that means it's working. favorite exercises to do on the paddleboard, standing leg raises. So your hands are going to be down, that standing leg has a nice soft bend in it, you're going to be lifting and lowering the leg, trying to get it as high as you can, ground down through your hands and your standing foot, but lift up through that leg, and you're really going to feel this one in your backside for sure.
Let's get that same burn going on the other side now. Remember to ground down through the hands, through that standing leg, and lift up higher than you think you can with that lifting leg. Reach for the sky and keep the back flat, shoulders pulled back as you do so. Don't forget to breathe. Rainbow squats are next, so you're actually just going to do a basic squat and you're going to be dropping that paddle down towards your left ankle and arcing it up and over towards your right ankle, so making a rainbow over your body. Squat as low as you can and then lift as high as you can. Now that you're down on all fours, we're going to start testing the waters. So you're going to be lifting and lowering that right leg, keeping it straight, touching the water and lifting as high as you can. Keep those hips level, keep your hands stabilizing the board, and yeah, feel those hips on fire. Let's finish it out on the other side here, lifting and lowering the left leg and getting that equal burn on both hips. thrusters so laying down on your back lifting and lowering those hips squeezing the buns as you do and you have the option of moving that paddle over the chest as you lift or just keep it right overhead against the board and keep those shoulders down for more stability ready for one leg at a time now. So doing that same move as the hip thrusters, but this time with one leg on the board and the other leg pressing towards the sky. You can keep your hands down on the rails for more stability or for more core challenge, keep those arms overhead holding your paddle. Moving on to the other side, same thing, lifting and lowering as high as you can with those hips, pressing the shoulders and the upper back firmly into the board as you lift. Ground down and lift up. Sweet relief, time for your stretch. Let's place that paddle behind a leg while the other leg is bent on the paddle board and just pull it into where it's comfortable stretch for your hamstring there. If you need to bend the knee, that's just fine. Give it a little bit of time on one leg and then switch to the other side. 
feels so nice to take a nice deep breath and relax the back of those legs. We worked those lower legs and the hips and the glutes and the thighs so hard. You've earned this stretch. And yet another lovely stretch for the legs. Let's do a seated forward fold. So just sitting on your paddleboard, knees soft, reaching the paddle to the sky and then folding forward over the legs. Every time you take a breath, just lift your chest a little bit and fold a little more forward on your exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold a little more forward. Enjoy that stretch. Excellent job, you guys. You did it. And thanks for getting fit with me on the water. Join me for the next workout. Looking for a tough and durable stand-up paddleboard like the one you saw in the video? Check out BicSUP.com and the 10-foot Tough Tech. That's what I was riding in this video and I highly recommend it. They come in 10 and 11 foot and they're so durable I can drop them right off my car with no issues. So if you're looking for the same board, check out BicSUP.com.